What's up everyone, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and these are the reasons not to buy Mizu M3s. As a standalone phone, this is definitely a very good choice. It looks awesome and feels awesome. When compared to phones like Moto or Samsung, it is still pretty good. But when you compare it with Lenovo or the Redmi 3s, there are a few things that you might want to consider. Redmi 3s or the 3s Prime comes with slightly better GPU and the base variant without the fingerprint scanner comes at 7000 rupees. So if you don't mind the lack of fingerprint scanner, then Redmi offers similar CPU performance, slightly better gaming experience, IR blaster, better cameras and a huge 4000 mAh battery. Next we don't have FM radio. It's not a big deal, but if you love it, then you might have to skip that. Next reason is that routing voids your warranty. If you are a tech enthusiast who likes to tinker with their phone, then that is one other reason not to buy this phone. This phone is running a skinned UI of Android called Flyme OS on top of Android 5.1 Lollipop. Though this UI is awesome and we already have many features found in Android 7.0, it is still running Android Lollipop under the hood. Mizu even said to forget about the Android updates and just look at the Flyme OS and it is indeed pretty good. I don't think this is an issue at all but if you are fixated on having the latest version of Android then this might be a reason not to buy. I'm not saying it won't get Marshmallow, but even if it gets Marshmallow update or even the Android 7.0 update, there won't be any differences and you probably won't get it. Next reason would be the lack of VoLTE support. Throughout the web in many blog posts, it is written that the phone supports VoiceOver LTE. I tried it with the Geo and it didn't work. We might get it with an OTA update, so if I get any new information on that, I'll update the title and the description of this video. Until then, I'll assume that this phone doesn't have voiceover LTE. So that's one of the reasons. So if you're looking forward to using GeoSIM, then the lack of voiceover LTE will be a huge disappointment for you. That brings us to the final reason, that will be the after sale support. Mizu products are really amazing, but many people have said me, their after sale support is not good. So this is another thing to look out for. If you have any personal experience, please share with us, I'll let others know. I think the smaller battery when compared to the phones like Redmi 3S, lack of voiceover LTE, lack of dedicated SD card slot and the after sale support will be the major deciding factors to buy or not buy this phone. With all this said, I would definitely recommend this phone to anyone just based on the phone itself without thinking about the after sale support. If you want to know the reasons to buy this phone or if you want to check out my review on this phone, links for that will be provided below this video and if you are going to buy this phone. By using the links provided in the description, it will help the channel a lot. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, hit that like button and if you don't, hit that dislike button and let us know why. If you have any comments, complaints or feedback, feel free to leave that below this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, do subscribe and stay tuned to us. This is Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off, have a nice day.